Hey everyone, I uh, just want to make a video on the difference in some of cubes formulas that we talked about. So let's start by talking about uh, the difference of cubes formula. So difference of cubes basically means that we have two cubic terms that are being subtracted from one another. So for example, a cubed minus b cubed. Um, so we came up with a formula in class uh, about like how to factor this. Uh, I'm not going to actually derive it in this video, right, since we did it in class, but if you need to see it again, you can ask me. Uh, but we know we can pull out a factor of a minus b, right? Uh, and then if you do long division uh, on a cubed minus b cubed, you end up getting the, the quotient that's left over. So we get a minus b times a squared plus ab plus b squared. So let's actually take a look at, uh, take a look at a, an example of using this. So for example, how about we factor uh, 64x cubed minus 1,331. Okay, so the first goal that we uh, have here is to express both of these terms as a thing to the power of 3. So we have to express 64x cubed uh, as one single thing to the power of 3. Well, I know that 4 to the power of 3 is 64. So I can write that first term as 4x all to the power of 3, because that power of 3 affects the 4, so 4 cubed is 64, and then x cubed is, well, x cubed, right? Uh, okay, good, and then 1,331, well, I happen to know that that's 11 to the power of 3, so we can write this as minus 11 to the power of 3. So now this is clearly a difference of cubes, right? I've got something cubed minus something cubed, uh, and if you want to compare this to our formula, uh, that would mean that 4x is our a, and then 11 is our b. So now we just have to pretty much apply the formula to this. Okay, so to factor this then, uh, we're going to get, uh, let's see, the first part is a minus b, so we'll have 4x minus 11, right? And then we're going to have open brackets. Uh, okay, so a squared, well, since our a is 4x, right, we do 4x all squared. Well, 4x times 4x is 16x squared. Okay, and then we have plus a times b, so let's see, uh, a is 4x, b is 11, so 4x times 11 is plus 44x, and then we have plus b squared, so that's going to be plus 11 squared, and uh, 11 squared is 121, so plus 121. So that's it fully factored. We're actually not able to factor this second part. It's not factorable, and it, it actually never will be with a difference of cubes. Okay, let's take a look at a sum of cubes then. So sum of cubes, we came up with the formula for this as well in class. Again, I'm not going to derive it here, uh, but uh, essentially a sum of cubes is when you have two uh, terms which are being put to the power of 3 and they're being added. So, for example, a cubed plus b cubed. So the formula that we came, uh, came up with, uh, it was a result of the fact that uh, a plus b is always going to be a factor. So if you can actually factor out a plus b, and then when you uh, use long division on a cubed plus b, b cubed, you end up getting a squared minus ab plus b squared left over. So this is our formula. So let's go through an example of using this then. So say we want to factor uh, 1 over 1,000, y to the power of 6, plus 343. Okay, so again, I need to express both of these terms as something to the power of 3. So I know that 1 over 1,000 can be written as 1 over 10 to the power of 3. Uh, and actually, I can, I can write y to the power of 6 as y squared to the power of 3. So I'm going to rewrite that whole term as 1 over 10, y squared, all to the power of 3. Okay, because 1 tenth to the power of 3 is, is 1 over 1,000, and y squared to the power of 3 is y to the power of 6. Okay, and 343 uh, can be re rewritten as 7 to the power of 3, so that's plus 7 to the power of 3. So now this is clearly a sum of cubes. So now we pretty much just have to apply the formula, but we also need to recognize that 1 over 10 y squared is our a, and 7 is our b. So applying the formula, we have a plus b first, so that's going to be 1 over 10 y squared plus 7. And then inside of our brackets, we're going to have uh, a squared, so... Uh, our a is 1 over 10 y squared, so 1 over 10 y squared times 1 over 10 y squared is 1 over 100 y to the power of 4. All right, and then we have minus a b, so uh, let's see, we have negative 1 over 10 y squared times 7, so that's going to give us negative 7 over 10 y squared. And then we have plus b squared, so that's going to be plus 7 squared, which is plus 49. Okay, and once again, this last uh, kind of factor here, that's not factorable. We can't really do anything else with that, so we just sort of leave it. So guys, that's been a difference in sum of cubes. Take care.